Hey guys, what's going on? This is JD with Prep Time, and I'm here to talk to you about some things that got me a little interested in what's going on in the movie world. On the mark, get set. We're riding on the internet, cyberspace, set free. Hello, virtual reality. Interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. Alright, point number one. Does anybody know that they're possibly thinking of making a Suicide Squad movie? Assemble Task Force X. We have another suicide mission. Yahtzee! Yep. DC has the idea to put it out there. And for all you people who only skim through comics or who know about it by name but don't know what's up, Suicide Squad. It is the squad that is made up of villains that are captured by the government in order for the government to get what they want out of them and for themselves. So pretty much uh, they force the former bad guys to go into what seems to be a suicidal mission if accomplished. And, uh, you know, it keep, they keep them from getting out of hand by implanting a chip in their head. So, if they decide not to follow orders, or they say, fuck this, I'm out, their head goes pop because they control them. They don't really control them, the government. So either way, whatever they do, the damn they do, the damn they don't. So, Suicide Squad. Um, it's consisted of Harley Quinn, of, um, Killer Frost, you know, and a bunch of other great villains, which there's a picture here. And, also, you know, Joker might have a play. Um, I know he's made, uh, his appearance is human there. Joker stole a dirty bomb and hid it somewhere in Gotham. I know that uh, Attack on Arkham, which was the latest Batman, um, Batman animation. Um, the reason they call it Attack on Arkham was because they didn't want to call it Suicide Squad. Because apparently, um... I mean, the name might be big to all of us who are in the comic world and to everybody who's actually explored into it, but for the outside world of, hey, a new movie's coming out, Suicide Squad, let's go watch it, no one's gonna know what it is, you know? So, of course, they put Batman on it, Attack on Arkham, because they're familiar, and well, pretty much it was a Suicide Squad movie. Um, it's a great film, by the way. But now they want to bring it live action. Not so much the Attack on Arkham, but the fact of Suicide Squad and live action. So, you know, casting is going to be crazy. I know that right now, according to the movie pilot, that they already have who's going to play the Joker, which will be uh, the front man <laughs> of 30 Seconds to Mars, uh, Academy Award winner, you know, Rec Room for a Dream, Dallas Buyers Club, be Jared Leto. Um, now, the Joker is the key reason on why Harley turns out the way she does. Um, so that being said, the Joker is slightly needed for this film, uh, however, what type of role he will play is still undetermined. Now, is he either going to help the team or be the reason for their failure, you know? Uh, now, there's also a lot to think about. Leto uh, being a great actor, um, he could bring this character to life as well as many others have, you know, like Nicholson, um, Romero, Hamill. <laughs> And then, you know, of course, Heath Ledger, who set the bar, you know? I mean, Heath Ledger took, like, every Joker that existed, put it into one, and brought more of a craziness out, which, that was a great performance, and, you know, he's not with us, so it's kind of hard to, I guess, duplicate it. But as Leto being an Academy Award winner in his own right, I'm pretty sure he could bring the Joker to life, especially since he does get lost in a lot of his roles, um, meaning he does a lot of method acting. Um, I know that if he's told to lose weight, he'll lose the weight to the extreme and he'll play it off. I know for Rep Room for a Dream, he lost an additional 30 pounds from his already small frame just to play off how he looked in Rep Room for a Dream. Um, and Dallas Buyers Club, I've not really seen it, but I know that from what I've heard, he's done great work. And I know just from a couple of previews and screenshots that he really went into it pretty hard. So, um, I mean, Jared Leto. You know, he makes girls scream at concerts, he does great performances. Now can he make all the Joker fans feel the way they did for Ledger? I don't know, we gotta find out. 
Uh, on top of that, they're also looking for female character to play none other than Harley Quinn, which I do not know her name right off the top of my head, but it'll be right here. I do know that she did come out in The Wolf of Wall Street, so she did the scene with Leo where they're on the bed, you know, on top of all that money. She also helped smuggle cash to the uh, other bank account overseas. Um, so if you know who I'm talking about, that's her, but I'll put the name right here and again. So yeah, that's a possible Harley Quinn, and Jared Leto is going to be the Joker. So yeah, you gotta wait and see what's up with that. If you want to read more about it, I will have the link down below for um, the site Inquisitor.com, which will have all the info about the Suicide Squad movie and any other possibilities. <laughs> now, okay, Age of Ultron, <laughs> Avengers. I don't want to touch too much on that, just because the preview is an awe, and everybody's like, oh my god. I'm gonna show you something beautiful. And you see the Hulkbuster, you see tension between all the heroes, you see everything going on, right? Why does Tony have so many damn blown apart robots just lying around? And why is he building Ultron in the first place? I mean, like literally, is it because he needs a body for Jarvis? Is it because, you know, he wants someone to take over in Iron Man's absence? And I mean, honestly, if he's the puppeteer, who's doing the puppeting? Is it Ultron? Or does it start? It's the end. The end of the path I started us on. Nothing lasts forever. That's the only thing that's going through my head. Um, now there's a lot of different storylines about it, there's a lot of other ways about it, but either way, Ultron does kill Iron Man, and that sucks because there's a lot of Stark and Iron Man fans who don't want to hear that, and they have to deal with it. So, <sighs> Ultron, man, the age of Ultron, you know? Shit, that preview is just fucking... Mm. I don't even know how to explain it, but when I watch it, I get chills. Now the third and final thing I want to talk to you about is what I'm wearing. There's been leaks, there's been rumors about Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Just call me oh, fuck me. And there's not really a big confirmation of yes, definitely, and not no, but it's in the middle. And there's been people talking about it being a PG-13 rating. There's been people talking about it's going to be rated R. There's been people talking about, I don't know if Disney can pull it off, Deadpool has his own following. So I mean, we're still waiting for this. Hola! Me llamo Pecina de la Muerta. There's no easy way to say this. I'm pregnant, Trevor. <laughs> The cure. Okay, not the cure, but more like a topical ointment that reduces swelling and itch. And that was the clip that's been leaked. Of course, you know, it's always going to be by some movie company, which we don't know for sure. I mean, there's no real watermark. There's no like, hey, what's up? This is where it's from. But it's a good hope. It's a good idea. And I hope it comes out. So with that being said, what are you looking forward to for Suicide Squad to come out? And what are you hoping to actually see in Age of Ultron, despite comics and despite whatever? I mean, what is something that you would like to see a key moment in? Um, is it going to be the Hulk going after Iron Man? Is it going to be the fact they send him off the planet Hulk, you know? Is it going to be the fact of, of how everything is coming together? Do you think it's going to tie in to bring out, you know, every other movie together for the first time to be like, holy shit. I mean, like, yeah, Marvel's doing that already. 
But do you think that this is going to be one of those movies that finally brings it all together and then blows up into a clusterfuck of holy shit, but then makes you go, oh my god, that was great. Mm. We have to find out. We have to wait and see. Now, what are your thoughts? Leave the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll come back to you with more Chris's $1 questions and any other conventions we can cover with more episodes. With that being said, we got so many things going on here. And we'll see you soon. So, peace. Legendary.